Nothing's more fundamental to the rule of law than the public's collective willingness to go by the rules. But some people find ways to cheat and steal because they discover the rule enforcers we hire to protect us simply won't make them stop. It's going to be Thornton pulling on the Interstate West. Looks like a dealer tag of David 3144. You can call it unlucky. You reap what you sow. Even you can run, but you cannot hide. But on this night, you can't call it Regina Stevenson. That's because she's not Regina Stevenson. Her name is Karina Stones, a prolific thief who takes money for selling people cars over the internet. Automobiles she repeatedly fails to deliver. The reason I stopped you is um, I couldn't see the tag because the uh, tag light's out. And the lies are about to begin because she doesn't want to get locked up. What's your birthday? 8 78. All right, and you got a license through Alabama, Georgia, what? Georgia. Okay. Right. I'm sorry, 74. I'm sorry, I'm like all, all over the place tonight. I'm all sorry. Right. Four years ago, Stones was sentenced to 10 years in prison for stealing nearly $7,000 from this woman, Brenda Roberts. But the court offered Stones probation if she'd pay Brenda back. She swore to a judge she would, but never did. She's so good at, at lying. I mean, she's smooth and... <clears throat> Matter of fact, one is in one of the cars at Mannheim, and one is in the red Cadillac. In Brenda, the how does it feel to watch her squirm? Oh, I'm I mean, you know, I don't wish anything bad on anybody, but she brought all this on herself, and now she's paying. She's got to pay the piper. That's what we thought. You ever been arrested before? But our story is about to veer down a very different highway. Karina Stone's arrest that night did trigger a chain of events that made it appear her chickens were finally coming home to roost. Inside investigations informed prosecutors of at least five victims who've paid Stone's tens of thousands of dollars for cars she failed to deliver. It isn't what I paid for. I've never seen the car. I've been had. <laughs> I have been had. There's no telling how long she's been doing this and how many people are really affected. But instead of holding her accountable, the courts quietly rewarded Stones for her four-year run from the law, as well as her failure to pay her victims tens of thousands of dollars in court-ordered restitution by rolling all of her lengthy sentences into one eight-month term. That's right, no longer 20 years, not even five years, but just eight months behind bars. She was released in May of 2020. And according to her Facebook page, she's back to selling cars. That's not right. That's, that is not right. That doesn't happen. They need to hold her accountable. or she needs to go to prison and sit there and think about everyone that she's ripped off. But there is a late breaking update to this story. When one of the judges responsible for giving Stone's repeated breaks discovered she wasn't paying restitution, he signed another warrant for her arrest. We'll let you know what the system will or will not do when she's taken into custody.